and for the hardest content of the game. So, I have no idea why, but most Genshin players don't really like niche characters, such as the newly released Chiori. For some reason, Genshin players don't really like niche characters like Chiori, like Ito, like um, Lini, I guess, could be, uh, like Nilu, Nilo, however you want to say her name, like uh, Shavus, you know, because it's not very versatile. You cannot use them in like a lot of other teams, like Kazuha, like Farina, like Nahida, you know. So, what they do, usually, they just say niche character is bad. And I disagree, because niche doesn't mean bad, it just means you need other characters to work with them. Is that bad? Yes, for certain demographic of players, but not all players. Anyways, I'm just gonna, like, do this current abyss. Actually, not the current abyss. But this is like, I mean, tomorrow, actually, tomorrow is actually going to be the reset of the Abyss. So I'm just going to make this video before the Abyss swap. So, yeah, because I've only tested on this Abyss. Uh, the next Abyss, I don't know when is it going to come out. Anyways, without further yapping, let's get into the team. I kind of forgot what my team is. Okay, so we have two of the quote-unquote niche teams, which is going to be... A mono geo team with a on the first half mono geo team and then the second half is gonna be a overload team with Chevus. The mono geo team is gonna be gonna have Chiori, uh Ito, Goro, my Goro is C6 by the way, and Zhongli. I also got Chiori's uh signature weapon kind of just willy nilly on stream. Yeah, anyways. 5 star! Easy bro, let's go! Fucking easy! Oh my god! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Easy! Oh my god! <laughs> you know, just like that. Just like that. So, if you wanna watch me pull some bangers, join, uh, come subscribe and watch my stream. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Uh, and then for the second half, it's gonna be Raiden, uh, Chevus, Linny, and Bess supporting the game Bennett right so I'm gonna show you just a little bit that I can you can clear the hardest content in the game once your account has enough you have you spend enough time nurturing your account right so uh, I probably need to retry a couple of times but and now nah, actually you know what I don't need to retry Look at this. First try. First ever try. I'm gonna... I already fucked up my rotation, but whatever. You know? Whatever. We just power through just like that. You kinda need to stand in the middle over here on Ito so that you hit both of them. And yep, yep, yep. Yep. And then you boom, hit the thing. You do the John Lee out. Boom, meatball into the face. Boom, you swap to Chiori, boom, do the thing, double E, boom, swap back to Ito, you do the Ushi, bang, 77k, not that much, but hey, I mean, it's a lot of damage, I guess. Boom, go to these guys, you bonk them, hold the charge attack, boom, 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 swap back to uh, fucking Zhongli, recast the shield, do the meatball, kabong, freeze them, and then Goro, into this, into Chiori again, burst, boom, swap to... Ito, whether that is, I kind of almost forgot the name. You go back, you boom, 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 boom. You know, just repeat the rotation. The rotation is pretty, pretty, uh, kind of syncs up pretty well, actually. Not gonna lie. Hello, Wong. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so for uh, this current the biz, like not the, not the the one that is out, that even the video is out this is like the current the, the last of this because like when i'm recording this video it's like the tomorrow is the reset so anyways for the current abyss that i'm playing the uh second half is like boss it's all boss right so it's kind of in my opinion it's kind of easier 
right? For this team, right, we have the Chevus Overload team with Linny. So here we will want to proc Overload with Bennett. I would like burst right away. And then we swap to Linny after we use Chevus. We do a lot of damage and don't crit. I'm just gonna put that thing there so that when I use Raiden, although like Bennett Circle is gone, it's fine. It's okay, it's fine. Right? And then we just kind of wait. And we use Chevus. We Bennett out, Chevus out. Get more, a little bit more damage in. Okay, this is the problem of like this. Uh, like ruin, what is it called? Ruin Drake or something? I have like no idea how to like stagger him. So whenever I stagger him, it's like kind of uh, what's that called? Like random. So probably time lost there. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I kind of messed up the rotation. That's why I don't have any burst. Uh, we might need to restart this. Any doubters? Any doubters? I don't think so. We got enough time to kill everything. I like kill this thing. We boom into this. We boom into that. Boom, explode. Oh, great. Uh, I guess we'll use right and out. Okay, there we go. We stagger him. Although I kind of should not use leading out there. We got 14 seconds. Can we do it? Before the thing runs out, I don't think so. I think we need a restart here. Oh, maybe? Giri, 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 giri. We did it. Almost. If you run like a better. Not run like better. If you just, you know, actually not talk while you play and actually do the rotation properly, you can get like faster clear time with uh, this team is just because I want to yap a little bit you know just you know get in the mood you know yapping a little bit anyways so on to the second chamber uh, you know just rinse and repeat do the thing you know you Zhongli meatball and you do Goro thing get some particles swap over to Chiori and then uh, don't have burst for the whole rotation, yeah, very nice. Uh, this, I would say this one is actually a bit annoying. Just because they kind of is like far away from like the, like the actual enemies that you want to hit. But it is kind of not a big deal for, oops, for our, or like my. <laughs> Mono Geo team is no problem, it's no problem. We actually kinda chilling, chilling, we're chilling, bing chilling, bing chilling. Right, you go into this, bonk, womp, 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 womp. You know, just keep bonking them until they pass out. Womp, womp, and they didn't die. That's very nice. Okay, there you go. It's not the fast. Not not the fastest time, but in my opinion, if you can clear it, it's already good enough. You don't need to be or like have the fastest clear time, right? You are only here for the 36 star. My throat is already starting to uh, kind of die because <laughs> I've been yapping too much in this stream. Uh, on this guy, you kind of just stay on Linny. And... Uh, yeah, and then get hit like a big dumbass. Mm -hmm. uh, you basically uh, keep doing damage to him until he uh, does the like uh, what's that called? Like this one? Yeah. You know, we do this, and then because this is overload, it kind of yeah, I kind of stagger both of them like right there. And I'm just gonna do this. Bop. 150k, easy. Alright, even though the first half uh, is kind of scuffed, but we managed to actually save some time here. I'm just gonna use the burst, because, like, why not? 
But I'm gonna save Lini's burst. I'm gonna just shoot him with Lini's arrow. Boring ass. Oh, we actually almost killed him, but not really. Um, yeah, yeah, die. There you go. You know, another three star. Right, chamber two done. Another three star done. Last chamber, probably the easiest chamber of all time. Right, I can literally clear this with my eyes closed. You go over here, you do this, you throw the Zhongli meatball, bop. Go into the Goro, E burst, and then burst E actually on Chiori. And then actually fucked up your Ito E. That is definitely not intentional. And you just keep bonking them, you know? Bonk, 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 E again. And then don't crit, that's very really nice. I love when I don't crit, when I have 82 crit rate, by the way. 82. Okay, you stay over here on the gunner guy, because the melee shield guy is going to come to you. Bonk, 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 Get the Ushi, bonk them again. Jongli out, should have shield first. But whatever, then crack, very nice. You know, keep doing the rotation, just... Just keep, just, just keep doing and then they die. Just like that. You know, and the, this is like one of the easiest boss. You know, just do this, get your burst up, ready your bow character, just stay here, wait until he flies up. Right? Shoot his jet engine. Right? You don't need to charge fully. Oh, 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 don't get hit by that. Go into this, boom, bam. You know, E burst, E burst, E burst. E burst, E burst, just do that, you know. Just keep like doing this. This is basically like a quick swap team. I really love quick swap team if you haven't noticed, by the way. You know, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, boom. Get all the energy back, bang, boom. You know, 150k, by the way. 150k. And then another 150, boom. Okay, 140, not 150 this time. There, he's gonna fly up in any second now. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Okay, keep your burst, keep your burst. Oh, okay, actually, actually, don't get hit by that. Oh, I can, got hit by that. Pyro res increase. Okay, time to shoot him down. Yeah, boom, boom. Okay, don't hit, get hit by the little, like, thing he sits down. When he sits down. You know. E burst, E burst. Do the same shit. Right. And then, uh, don't get your... Oh, there you go. You got the... Right, and boom, he's dead. Never mind. Boom. There you go. See, it's that easy. It's not even like that hard. Okay? Like, niche teams, if you build them correctly, it, it performs. Good enough so that you can clear the uh, 36 star base. Right? I don't think it's easy. Trust me, once you play for like one year or like two years, the abyss is going to be easy. Once you've played enough, this game is not that hard. You can literally clear it with your eyes closed. Like, 100%, I guarantee you 100% if you do everything correctly. Like, you you pull for Nuvolet, you pull for Kazuha, you pull for Hu Tao, you pull for C6 Seng Shou, you pull for, you know, every of the meta teams. Done. Easy. Abyss cleared. Duels. Hyper Bloom team, you know, boom, 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 explode. Anyways, so the first, uh, first half, yeah, first half of the team is the Mono Geo. We have Chiori, the newest five star. Very cute, very cute, very nice. We are at thousand attack and two thousand defense. The crit ratio is freaking insane, by the way. It's super insane because, because. I actually pulled her weapon. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Okay, 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 you might be like, Hey, yo, that's like my kidney. I need to sell my kidney to get this. Don't you worry, you know, there's a lot of free-to-pay options for Chiori. If you played the event back in the day, you get this weapon. If you didn't play the event, it's fine. You don't even, like, this is not the only option. You can also use Fest Festering Desire, one of the event weapons. If not, you don't have those two weapon. Harbinger of Dawn. You play it with uh, Zhongli. 
you play her with Zhongli, you basically have this 28% crit rate 100% of the time, 100% uptime. So, yeah, you slap this on her, she just does damage, right? Like, you can even see my uh, weapon is not even like level 90. I actually ran out of materials. But, yeah, I'm using a two-piece, two-piece. I'm using a two-piece golden troop and two-piece husk. Two-piece husk for the extra defense. And a two-piece golden troop for the skill damage. So, you know, pretty average. Uh, pretty average, quote-unquote average uh, artifacts. You know, casual 20, 20 crit ratio or like 30 crit ratio, 30 crit ratio. We want to run defense science, uh, 30 crit ratio again, and then like close to 40 crit ratio of geo damage bonus. You want to find like defense percent in the substance of the things. Like over here, you use crit rate, so the substance is like defense percent. You use geo damage bonus, substance you want defense percent. Here, main stat defense, you can go like you can get like attack percent, it also helps her because she actually is split scale. We have C0, Chiori, but talents are like 8 and 6. Then we have the main main component, main driver of our comp. I I kind of cheated a little bit, just a little bit, right? But uh, yeah, we have a 1.1k attack. 2.2k defense when he ults, gonna be 3.3k. I have an 82 to 184. Right, pretty, pretty average build with the R2 supplement fine. It doesn't matter actually, the R2. I just use this for the crit. You can use like, if you have another crit weapon, you can use this. You can use crit damage weapon and then like put crit rate uh, <clears throat> the circlet. Uh, I'm using four piece uh, husk, and you know, uh, this is not a very good piece, but a lot of ER. You know, casual, just mm, casually 40 crit ratio, casually another mm, 40 crit ratio, just like that. And then this thing, I don't, don't want to talk about it. And then, yeah, I have like two god piece and like two pretty you know swappable piece okay this is like the the, the part that i'm saying like i'm saying like it's kind of cheating i have like c1 of edo but then again this is not a damage increase it's more like you kind of can just go straight into his charge attack instead of having to normal attack first and then charge attack when you first burst so it's like you are able to charge attack faster with edo Right, you know, eight nine eight didn't even crown, so yeah. And then Goro, I actually don't run that much uh, defense on him. I run a little bit, I mainly just run ER on him, a ton, a ton of ER. I'm using Favonis bow, uh, R five funnel Favonis bow for the more uh, more particles, so that I can supply both Chiori and uh, Ito, because Ito actually needs a lot of energy. And I'm running uh, actually only only two piece emblem. You might be wondering, huh? Don't I need husk for this? Well, well, well. You actually don't, because his buff, his defense increase is actually locked behind uh, talent levels. So this is fixed. You can't. It's not defense percent. It's not. It's like it's like the Bennett buff, but defense. Right, Bend above gives you attack, like base attack, it just slaps like add, add base attack, this is a slap base defense onto it. It's not base defense, it's this amount of defense, right? So I guess this you can also call it cheating, but sure, whatever, I have a C6 Goro, it adds 70% more uh, crit damage, and then we have a mainly HP build Zhongli with some crit and some ER. Uh, I mainly use, you know, Favonis again to support, uh, give them energy. I'm using a 4-piece tenacity. You know, normal Zhongli build. There's some crit here, massive HP, and then HP percent, some crit, and ER. 
HP percent again, and then ER, and then crit rate, and then massive HP. Right, just basically hitting the 40k max HP for a shield, doesn't break. C0, Zhongli, Talon, uh, 99 on the E and the burst, you know, not even crowning. You can like clear, like, I haven't even crowned any other character, or like, like every character at all. So you can clear Abyss without uh, crowning characters at all. Raiden. The base build without the pyro resonance, the attack increase is 1.7 attack, 75 to 120, not the best crit ratio, 244 ER, basically stack a bunch of ER. Using the catch, uh, probably the best weapon for her, and then 4 piece emblem, you know, casually another 40 crit rate or crit ratio. Uh, is this another 40? No, this is a 30, 30 crit ratio, but pretty much no wasted stats right uh this one has like this splat flat attack anyways stop flexing your artifact keep going i'm using attack percent sans just because you know you could use a er sans but i'm just using attack percent you know crit rate crit damage er electro damage bonus uh goblet boom 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 Crit rate with 20 crit damage and ER, very nice, some wasted stat, but it's fine. C0 again, no crown, just 99 on this. And then it was Linny, and like one of the other uh, DPS in the team, quick swap DPS, 1.7k attack, and 60 to 257, no ER at all, probably should change that. And I'm running him with the the first great magic. It's basically his signature weapon. Right, you can run it with like any other crit weapon, it's fine. Uh I'm using four piece Maru chassis. Uh casually another uh 40 a fucking brain fart. 40% crit ratio again. But some voices aren't, but it's fine. You know? It's fine. You know, just crit crit, you know, crit crit, another 40%, crit ratio, 30%, very nice, pretty fucking shit, crit damage, circlet, oh yeah, also pyro damage bonus and attack percent. Uh, I'm using, I'm, okay, so 60% here because, uh, 4 piece Maru chassis actually increases your crit rate by, if you have 3 stacks, it increases by 39, no, no, 36, sorry. So this actually adds up to 93, 90, fucking 96%. So yeah, it's 96 to 250, what was it again? 257? Yeah. Constellation zero again, uh, 999, no crown at all, right? And then the actual unit that make this team com pop off, Chevus, one of the, one of my favorite unit being released uh i have a 40 40k max hp you basically just stack max hp on her you don't really need to care about the crit ratio uh er not really need to care i'm using this weapon the craftable for the max hp i guess it's really good for this one as well it re regenerates energy slightly more damage for your burst or like slightly more uptime for your burst I'm using a 2 piece 2 piece HP to reach the 40k HP. The 40k HP will come in handy later. Um, over here, I just slap. Slap on whatever, you know. It doesn't matter. It, her damage doesn't matter. Just get as much of HP as you want, as you can, actually. You know. <clears throat> HP sands, HP goblet, HP circlet. Right. I actually got C1. This basically serves Chevreuse as like a battery in a sense, like a little, little bit, there's a little bit of uh, energy increase. And then we have, you don't actually need to level up her talents, I just level up, level up for the damage. So there's like this thing where Pyro and Electro Riz is like reduced because of the overload reaction by 40%, reduce Pyro and Electro Riz for 40%. So this is why Chevreuse can enable this team to work. 
and then her another passive is uh gain one percent attack for every 1000 hp and uh like once you use the e right and then the attack can be increased up to 40 percent so if you do math 40 percent of one percent uh, if you 1000 times 40 that's 40k so that's why 40k hp is the target all right you'll get 40 percent attack increase for your by the way for your pyro and electro characters only that's why you can only run pyro and electro units here kind of the same way as like nilo right nilo you need to like run hydro and dendro only uh where is my bennett oh good old good old benny boy we have a uh, you know your typical bennett build uh, some hp i don't know why he has so much crit uh er you know i'm using festering desire mainly because of the er i could swap it out whatever it's fine using four piece no bless gives you uh you when you use a burst it increase attack by 20 percent right i actually have c6 but i keep it at c5 and bennett actually just buffs you and heals you with this right so yeah that's pretty much it for the abyss showcase of two of the quote-unquote niche team in uh genshin if you like what you saw just like subscribe okay i do stream on twitch and youtube both at the same time i do multi multi stream uh, i'm trying to stream every single day uh, i will try but sometimes i'm like inconsistent so i might just disappear so, uh anyways uh thank you for watching all right the video is over goodbye click off goodbye stop stop watching stop it click off okay bye bye